Welcome to 5-Minute Marketing, where every week we discuss a topic, tactic, or trend in just five minutes so you can optimize your marketing strategy on the go. One of the most frequently asked questions I get on Instagram, TikTok, or honestly, anytime I'm talking to creators, founders, entrepreneurs, business owners, is about content and what sort of content you should be posting. So we can talk about pillars, we can talk about talking to camera versus trending. Today, I want us to look at your content like a pie and talk about the three types of content that should make up your entire content strategy. And these three kinds of content are in relation to how you attract and talk to new followers. But before we get into that, I'm Maddie Boumet, founder of Live Like Mad. Let's be sure to connect on Instagram and TikTok. You can find me at livelikemad.co. Really quickly, before I jump into the three different kinds of content, I just wanna mention that I am speaking about them in the order of frequency. So what you should do most frequently to probably only once a week. So the first kind of content you should create is growth content. So this is content that is gonna get new eyes on your page and ultimately grow your account. That's why it's called growth content. You wanna think about content that gets shared or saved. So when I am trying to figure out, okay, what kind of growth content to create, I think about two sort of camps. I think about what's trending, what's hot, whether that's actual trends on TikTok or Instagram, whether that's pop culture, relevant things happening in the media, or I think about what are people searching for? And when I say people, I mean who I want to attract. So if my target audience is moms with toddlers, I might sit down and say, okay, what are moms with toddlers searching for on social? Are they searching for tips for bedtimes? Are they searching for X, Y, or Z? So that I can cater my content to appear in their searches. Now, I really quickly wanna make a mention about your profile conversion rate. So with growth content, we're obviously looking to get more views, we're looking to get more eyes on our account, but knowing your profile conversion rate is a really good way to kind of gauge if that's actually working. So your profile conversion rate is essentially the rate at which you're converting people who come to your profile into actual followers. And we calculate this by dividing follows by profile views, and then obviously timesing that by 100 to get a percentage. I like to say that like 10%, I'm doing an Alexa hand, is a number to aim towards. So I want to circle back to like, why is figuring out your profile conversion rate like important? And here's the thing. If you cannot convert people who are coming to your profile, you inevitably can't grow. So no matter how incredible your growth content is, if you're not taking those eyes and converting them into follows, what's the point of your growth content, okay? The next kind of content you are going to create is called nurture content. So this is where we're kind of warming our audience, we are building trust, we're establishing ourselves as thought leaders in the space, experts, whatever the case may be. Similarly to like dating, this is the phase where we really establish and build the relationship. And they start to form perhaps a parasocial bond with us as they get to know us, our product, and all of that. This, I would say you wanna do this a good amount, but if you are looking to grow, you definitely want to prioritize growth content over your nurture content. But I always say this to anyone I work with, anyone I talk with, don't just focus on getting new followers. Focus on that and the community and people who are already there and established fans of what you do. So I would say prioritize growth content, but right underneath that should be your nurture content. And finally, we have conversion content. At the end of the day, if you are a brand or business, you are using social media as a sales channel. So conversion content ultimately sells your product and makes that conversion. So it converts them from a follower to a paying customer. Now, conversion content, we don't want to strictly sell. So this is maybe a once or twice a week kind of thing. We just talked about three types of content you can create for social. So 